I'm gonna use the phone and the wrench. Then we're gonna use a meter saw, hit the meter saw with the wrench and record. So I'm just composing this action cue. And what's cool about this piece is that I sampled with my phone's mic a meter saw that I hit with a wrench. Sounds like this. And then I turned it into this. To layer the lowest strings, lowest strings, process meter saw. And all together sounds like this. Here's how I created this sound. By the way, I said this already, but I apologize again for the audio. We just moved to a new space, to a new studio, and the acoustic treatment still needs to get done. It's gonna take a little bit. All right, so the first thing is gonna be to take that sample that we've recorded with, uh, with the phone and then drag it into the computer. I literally just sent it to Slack and then I opened it here, downloaded it, and I dragged it here. See this waveform here? Uh, this is the sample. Then we're gonna use a meter. And then at this point, we've got the, the cling. I used backbone because it's, um, it's very easy to use. I just drag the sample there, I tweak a few knobs, and then I kinda get the type of sound that I want easily. See, here I selected the start and end point of the sample, so when I hit the key in the keyboard, it always starts from the same point fades out a little bit towards the end. So the first thing that I did, as you can see here, is I created three layers, high, mid, and low. So it's the same sample, but I processed it differently because I wanted to achieve different things. And when I hit the key, the, these three layers are triggered at the same time. This is kind of like the idea. Sorry, the desk is super dusty, which is did flooring. I explained this the other day. So clean it up. But uh, the goal again is for them to blend, but also to add punch. And so the three layers, the, the high layer, the high frequencies layer, um, it's gonna do things. One, it's gonna open the sound, it's gonna add definition to this percussive heat. The mid layer, that, that's the one that's gonna sound louder, that's gonna, the one that's gonna add that punch. And then finally the low uh, layer will just basically add all this, the low, the low support for this heat. It's gonna kind of like sound like a like a kick drum. See, we've got here the three layers. The mid one sounds like this. Still a metallic type of sound, but I modified it in a way that kind of like a blends with the strings, adds a little bit of punch. The high opens the sound a little bit and adds the finishing and the lows. By itself, it doesn't have the finishing, but in combination with the other two, adds that low frequency support. So this is the mid layer, and to go from this to this, basically what I did is pitch down this a little bit. And then I applied this resynth module here, and I did a couple of things. I brought the purity down a little bit, with the velocity down as well. And then this form and shift knob a little bit down as well with a few tweaks here and there. And for the speed, instead of keeping it here, I speed it up a little bit, like twice the speed. I'm gonna bring these guys up a little bit. This down. And that's pretty much it. There are a few effects down here that affect the three layers. A little bit of compression, distortion, reverb, and the stereo panning. So I can position it exactly where the strings are and make sure that it occupy the same width so it feels part of the same thing. For the high-pitched layer, this is the before and after. I just processed it with this resynth module and these are the settings of it. So just the mid layer and in combination with the high. See how it opens the sound and adds a little bit of definition. And finally, this is the low layer. I did two things here. First, I pitched it down a lot. This is the original sound. And then brought it down like a lot. Something like this. And then one more time, I processed it with this resynth module. What I wanted this time though is not to add greediness or distortion or the other way around, I wanted it to sound as pure and clear as possible. So before the resynth, after. And these are the settings. 
and that is pretty much it. These are just the strings. Now adding the processed meter saw sample sounds like this, strings, meter saw. And the entire arrangement that I'm working on at the moment, 10 seconds of music, give or take, sounds like, like let me explain it real quick, but I'll do an entire video. But basically we've got lower strings and backbone here, higher strings, a little bit of orchestral percussion, horns and brass, these yellows here, we got an electric bass here, and some trailer sounds here. And it does like this. Wow. This is a slightly different style of video, I know. I've done a couple of these already. Um, if you like him, I'll do more of this. If you want to learn more, I've done another one like this explaining trailer music and two more styles. If you're interested, link in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you found value. I'll see you in the next one.